everyone, it's Jenny from Homestead Corner, and today I have 15 things that every prepper should hoard. So this is a list of 15 things that I think that every prepper should be stocking up on all the time. They should have more than ample amounts in their house. I don't think you can have too much of any of these items. And these are all non The first items. one is lanterns. Oil lanterns and the wicks and you know, maybe have an extra globe on hand. These are wonderful when the power's out. You can see really well. They're really inexpensive to run. The oil lasts a really long time. I think it's great to have extra wicks, but you don't, the wicks, last and last and last so that's a really great thing about the oil lanterns I do like that. the next thing is medical and first aid supplies you cannot have too much first aid or medical supplies in your stockpile uh, and that includes bandages gauze tapes wraps uh, tourniquets um, all kinds of stuff your vitamins your pain medicines, prescription medicines, as much as you can have of that stuff, I think is absolutely important. And I think, you know, keeping like your Advils and Tylenols and aspirins and things like that, keep as much as you can use uh, as you think you might use in a long period of time. And then an extra bottle, because you never know. Um, you just never know. It's good to have as much of that as possible. The next thing, TP. TP is a beautiful thing. I really enjoy having it. When you can't get it, you really miss it. So I think TP is another thing that everybody should just hoard it right up and have tons of it. And I'm not talking about going out and panic buying. This is stuff that you continually buy and continually add to your stockpile so you have it. Uh, I don't think panic buying is a good idea. You're taken away from other people that way. And I know a lot of people think, you know, it's I got to protect me. And we do have to protect ourselves. But we can definitely do it over time and keep plenty in stock and not have to go out and panic buy. There's nothing wrong with going and buying four packages. But when you have to get five or six carts full, that's, you know, someone else is going to go without because of that. So I will buy a couple when I go, and then the next time I go, I'll buy a couple more. Two, three, four at a time, leaving plenty for everybody else. And that way, it's not a big deal, nobody notices it, and it's easy to, and it piles up really, really quick. All right, the next one, duct tape. Duct tape, Gorilla Tape, electrical tapes, all kinds of tapes. I really like Gorilla Tape because that stuff sticks and sticks. It's really good. I, I, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely worth it because it. I put it on all kinds of projects. We even put it on foam insulation for the beehives and that stuff, when you take it off, it will rip the foam. It will break the foam up. It's crazy. But I love Gorilla Tape, and Duct Tape is also another one that's really great. The next one, matches and lighters. I love the little strikers, fire starters, all that stuff, but matches and lighters are absolutely the easiest way to go. I like to have those waterproof matches, storm matches, all kinds of matches. It's good to have a bunch. Um, different kinds it's for different situations you know you want to have some storm proof and waterproof stuff for your bug out bag but you know just the regular cheap old matches you strike on the box are wonderful around the house and you know lighters lighters are even easier than matches they do run out so you can fall back on your matches but lighters are wonderful and they're pretty inexpensive you can get a good size pack for just a couple dollars batteries batteries are another thing we have so many things that use batteries our remote controls flashlights lanterns there are so many things that run off batteries it's really important to have a good stockpile if the uh, grid goes down we have got that stuff in plenty supply so 
we can have our flashlights, we can have our lanterns, anything that we're going to use that needs batteries that you want for emergency, radios, things like that. If you've got no television or anything, uh, if you don't have a generator and you can't run the television, the radio is nice because you can still get the uh, news on the radio and you can hear what's going on out there. Um, you can get the weather, you know how to prepare for things. I think a radio is really important and we need batteries for all that stuff. The next thing is flashlights, lanterns, things like that. We need those. It, you got to be able to see the grid goes down. Power goes out a lot here in the winter time. So we always make sure we have got plenty of lanterns and flashlights and those nice heavy duty tactical flashlights make a great weapon also if you need to use it to protect yourself. And the next thing I think is great to hoard is rope. You can't have too much rope. You always need to tie things down, tie things up. You, you know, you can use it for tons and tons of different kinds of projects and just in survival situation, rope is an absolute must. So if the grid goes down, you wanna have plenty of rope. And I think it's important to have a bunch of different ropes. Paracord rope, nylon rope, all kinds of different stuff. Another thing I think we should hoard is candles. Candles also create heat, which can be great if you get a bunch of them going in a small room. You can actually heat a room with it. I did it with my son. We were stuck with the power out one time and I just lit five or six candles. We had an extremely large bathroom at the time, so we hung out in there. It was the smallest room in the house, but it was a good sized bathroom. We just went in there and we hung out and the candles kept us warm for about five hours before my husband could get there and we could get out because the bridge had washed out on our road and we couldn't just leave. So um, the power was down and those candles came in so handy. They created light so we could see and they also helped. Another great item to hoard I think is trash bags. Trash bags are absolutely wonderful. You can use them for tons and tons of stuff. If you got a broken window, you can cover it. If you have to go out in the rain, you can make a poncho. Uh, just regular trash bags, all different sizes. I think it's important to have contractor bags and those nice, really thick ones. Those are also really great to have when, you know, if you have to cover a window or something like that, cover a window in your car until you can get the window fixed. There's just so many uses for it. You can carry things with it. Their bags are wonderful. So keep plenty, plenty of trash bags. The next thing I think we should keep are those little plastic uh, grocery bags. Those things are so handy to put soiled items in. You can carry things in them really easily. They're super handy. Line trash cans, all that stuff. I never throw away those bags. We always save them. I have this little tube cloth thing. You just stuff them in. You can pull one at a time out, a little bag dispenser. And those bags are all free. They don't cost you anything. You get them right at the grocery store anyway. And I think those are great to hang on to because there's so many uses. You can line a bucket for a toilet. You can do so much stuff with that that's really limitless. Another thing I like to keep plenty on hand is tarps. Tarps are great. You can create a shelter, wind barrier, cover the wood, cover windows, cover anything. Um, they're great to have around. They're pretty inexpensive if you watch for sales and things like that, or if you have a local um, liquidation store. Our local liquidation store carries them and they are dirt cheap, just a couple of dollars for a 10 by 12. And you can even get like a 10 by 20 for six or $7 which I think is great. We like to keep all different sizes. You can get them in all different colors, camo, anything. It really doesn't matter what they're in, but they can use, uh, you can use them for so many different projects and they're wonderful to have on hand. The next thing I think is super important is socks. We should all have tons and tons of socks. You need to protect your feet. If you have to go out in the cold and the wind and anything like that, you're going to want some nice warm socks. I think we should keep summer socks and winter socks and wool socks, all kinds of socks, just a large array. And hey, I have a huge collection of crazy socks. The next thing is salt. 
Salt is one of those things. A lot of the prepared food that we eat has tons and tons of salt in it, but if you're cooking from your preps and you're eating rice and beans and stuff, you still need that salt in your system. And a lot of times you don't have to add it in everyday food that we eat all the time because it's prepared, it already has salt in it. When you're cooking on your own, you really need to add that salt. Your body needs the nutrients from it. It requires it. And it also comes in super handy if you have to um, do any canning or anything like that to help preserve food. You can salt down your meats and stuff like that if you have to. And it's great to have plenty on hand. And last but not least, seeds. Lots and lots of seeds. I think everyone should have tons of seeds on hand. All the different kinds of fruits and vegetables that you like to eat that will grow in your area. Having extras is wonderful. They're a great barter item. And you know, if you're not able to have the finances to go to the grocery store or if you know anything happens, you can still grow it yourself. You're gonna need to prepare to get to the next grow season and stuff like that, definitely because not everything's gonna grow year round. Even in warm climates, some things can't take the real hot, hot heat or some of them need the real hot, hot heat. But like where I am, way up in Maine, it's sometimes it's very hard. You're not growing anything in the winter. You can grow a little bit of lettuce in the window and maybe a couple of herbs and stuff, but that's all you're gonna get. And you need to, you know, just grow as much as you can in the summer and preserve it. Dry it, freeze it, can it, whatever you can do to it. Preserve it up and you've got it. But those seeds are life-saving. They're an absolute must. And hybrid seeds can tend to not reproduce well because they're hybrids. I think this, if you're collecting seeds and saving seeds, you should save heirloom seeds because those are they reproduce over and over and over and I think that's really important you know you're going to get a good crop out of them much better than a hybrid seed so seeds are an absolute must to keep in your stockpile and that is it for my 15 things that I think every prepper should hoard we need to have lots of this stuff on hand I think they're all super important and Keep on prepping everyone. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.